What's that? Shy. Shy. Okay, okay, we gotta stop. We don't want to get demonetized. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffles, and today we'll be looking at the Gundam Universe MS-06S Shars Zaku 2. If you're going to pick this up, you can go to www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories, and I'm so psyched because this is the first, I'd have to say, yeah, I'm going to say it, this is the first true villain in the Gundam Universe line. I'm pretty psyched about it. We're going to open it up and let's see how it is. So let's go to the top cam because enough of me talking. we got to see how this guy is. Look at the box. is really cool. Also, the price point, we're looking at $22.99. Wow. Really good deal. That's what I love about the Gundam Universe. I know a lot of people are like, well, he's not true to scale because he's a big figure. And uh, no, and then you compare him to other things, and I know everything about Gundam, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I get it, okay? I, I freaking get it. But these are all to scale with themselves, and that's fine, because he's $22. No building, no glue, no none of that. You just want to get into kicking butt with robots? Let's go. You can't beat that. Come on, guys. Now, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Pretty psyched. Oh, Sha, Sha, Sha. And there is our boy Shar in the Zaku 2 red. Zaku 2 looking really sharp. So let's talk about the details. We have a dark, dark blood red in the middle of part right here of the armor. And of course, we have that pinkish salmon color on the outside, which gives that this distinct char look of the zaku usually a zaku is green for those who don't know and that's really cool i have to say this definitely captures the look of char zaku too look at it look at all the fine details and for the price point you honestly cannot beat it i mean you've got all the pipes coming out and stuff like that that's really cool and we have some here on the legs that's really cool as well let's look at the legs real quick because we haven't really looked at the legs you can see the skirt and everything like that you can all see also see the Points where you can put like the rifle and the axe. That's pretty nice as well. Now let's look at the face real quick before we end this part of the detail. Look at that. You even got the little, uh, what do you call this? This little feather type thing going on right here. And the eye, the single eye, which is scary when Armoro first sees it. That's really cool. And of course the backpack right here looking really solid. All the details are there for the price point. You can't beat this figure, especially if you've been collecting um, Gundam Universe, yeah, this is the way to go, I have to say. Um, but you know what? I'm going to be real with you. Uh, if you are really strict about scale, okay, I know I was disrespecting you in the beginning. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Fine. Go for it. Build a model for the rest of us who just want to play with awesome robots. This is the way to go. So let's move on to articulation and scale. Let's see how tall he's standing. He's standing at the very top right here. We're looking at six and a half inches. And for those who are wondering, yes, scale is a thing. Here is an incomplete robot damashi Zaku. Look at that. That is a huge difference when it comes to scale. Also, the price point. I bought this figure, I believe, for $60. Obviously, it comes with all the stuff you need. It comes with the bazooka, the, all the effect pieces, the rifle, whatnot. That's really cool and all. But that's sixty dollars. This is twenty bucks, twenty-two bucks. I mean, go figure. There you go. And of course, we have you got to have the original Gundam from zero zero seventy nine. There you go. If you're looking to pit these two together, I have to say the scale on this looks really, really good. And yeah, let's see how he stands next to S H Figure Arts Goku. And there you have it. That's how he stands next to SH Figure. It's Goku. And of course, we have to have some sort of Marvel Legends. And yeah, he's bigger than this Marvel Legends Wolverine right there. And that looks really cool. Let's talk about articulation. We have an up and down here at the ankle. We have a double jointed knee. That's really cool right there. Ball joint right here at the crotch. Lots of range of motion right there. We can do side kicks and front kicks and flying knees and whatnot. It looks like the skirt's kind of getting in the way, but look here. 
it looks like we have an articulation point right here at the skirt so you can move this up and down left and right and whatnot that is indeed a ball joint but it still kind of hinders the kick right here which is kind of so you know what i have to take it back no it actually gets a really nice side kick right here i think the one thing that i really kind of wish they did is make this a little bit more up like this part of the skirt needs to go up in order to get a full front kick so you can do a really bam towards the gundam right there but unfortunately because this is not going to go up anymore that's pretty much it when it comes to front kicks so let's look at ab crunch he does have an ab crunch but it's not very good because we have all this stuff going on in the midsection but he can rotate a little bit right there which is fine with me uh let's see if we have butterfly joints no we don't we do have regular joints right here so we can go stuff like this he can flex his muscles can we move this um no it looks like because he has all kinds of stuff going on here it doesn't look like we're going to be able to move that uh, so if you're thinking you could get like a full-on I'm about to hug you pose unfortunately that's not gonna happen uh, he's just a little bit too boxing on the shoulders right there but we do have a bicep swivel right there full range of motion right there we have a bend at the elbow right there with a double jointed elbow really nice ball and peg here at the wrist and of course we have a ball joint here at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation and we can get all kinds of fighting poses it's just unfortunate that because of the way his shoulders are, um, yeah, we're not going to get full range of motion on shoulder movement. As you can see here on the Gundam, which I guess in this case is superior, <laughs> uh, we can get that full-blown arm open, whereas Char, not as much. It doesn't look like, or the Zaku, it doesn't look like we can do that. So hence, the reason why the Xeon Federation, we're like, yeah, I hate you, Gundam is because superior articulation. <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Let's move on to accessories. Of course, we're looking here at the top cam. We have that um, Xeon Federation machine gun. And look at this, the drum magazine actually is removable. And that's pretty cool right there. Look at that, that's how it looks like. It's pretty standard stuff, pretty plasticky. Uh, nothing super high quality. Here is the um, axe, the Xeon Axe, and you can see the energy blade is painted yellow and purple. Let's go to the front cam. Let's get a closer look at the axe first. Let's see if we can, there you go. And that's looking yellow and purple as ever. And of course we have the machine gun. And also here's something about the gun is it, it has the drop grip or side grip that goes to the side, which I was hoping they would do when this gun, this guy was released. Because I remember, I forgot which one it was, but I was like, how come that doesn't move? It should move. I think it was the uh, RX-78, the rifle doesn't have a movable handle. Correct me if I'm wrong, I forgot. It's been a while. Also, I don't have it with me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So those are the two accessories you get. And of course, since it's a very low price point, uh, we're looking at just two extra hands. And we do get a, a stand con uh, adapter right here. I think that's for the Tamashi Nation stand. So I'm going to outfit this guy. Everyone chill out for just a second. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have him outfitted with the machine gun. And we will see if we can get him to pose correctly like in the anime. And that's really tough because, he, the, because his chest is really puffed out and the shoulder, the back shoulder joints just aren't working that's really tough to get this which is kind of a negative it, it looks kind of wonky uh this does not look like how he holds it in the anime at all i believe he has it more towards the the hip so uh if you're looking for that no this this is okay this isn't great uh, but you know what if you're looking to just shoulder it or just have him shoot it at the hip you can just do it like this which is fine honestly this looks really cool pop 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 pop, pop. that's really nice uh, last but not least, also, the axe is right here on the side, and it does holster really well, nice and tight, and look, and you get another one back here and back here. Let's look at it back here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's really rad. I have to say so myself. There's three spots to put this beautiful axe, and there he is. There he is holding it, ready to hit Amaro Ray in the face. Bam! Right there, and that's looking really solid i have to say so myself so let's come up with the conclusion of sharzaku obviously we got to go over the negatives first because we'll end with the positive and here is the biggest negative um obviously 
<sighs> he needs better shoulder joints. I don't know how they would have done this at this price point. Um, maybe have, like, like if you look here on the Robot Damashi version, he has, what do you call it, butterfly joints right here. So you can get the proper holding position of the machine gun, right? That's how he holds it uh, and stuff like that. Hold on, this is kind of falling apart on me right now. It's been a while since I've taken this out. Um, so yeah, that would have been really beneficial if we put it in something like that. But if you noticed, all of the Gundam universe do not have butterfly joints. And that's where they keep the price point down. Basically what you're paying for is as simple as it get, but still detailed for the price point. And that's really what you're paying for. So honestly, I, that's kind of a bummer. I really like the way the Zaku holds the machine gun, like when he has the side grip, that's really cool. But unfortunately, we're not going to get something like that. Um, another thing that I noticed, and this is kind of just a pet peeve, it's not a huge negative. Honestly, I don't know why you would have the drum mag removable. But if you're gonna have it removable, at least have some have this peg a little bit bigger so it fits better. As you can see, that just comes off super easy, just like that. And that was a little bit annoying when I was outfitting this guy. But besides that, he holds. See, there it goes. It just flies right off. Uh, that's kind of annoying. If uh, I'm gonna keep this one, so I'm probably just gonna super glue it in because I don't like that flying off. I don't. I really don't. Uh, besides that, let's come up with the positives. Look at this figure. 22 bucks. Yeah, that's fantastic. He looks really good. The paint on it is really spot on. I love the pink on it. Even more so, dare I say, than the robot Damashi, which tries to get uh, the scale and everything down perfectly and all the accessories and whatnot. I've, I've always felt the robot Damashi Char uh, Zaku was kind of just a bland pink. He really needs to pop out you know what i mean this guy is the most deadliest fighter in the zeon federation right he's got to pop out and this pink looks like it pops out it's like i'm coming for you you better run <laughs> run to www.dstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome action figures thank you all for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when i post new videos and i will see you guys next time peace out So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.